Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Welcome from Nashville, Tennessee to Monday Night Raw as you witness the return of the King of Kings, Triple H. Tonight he has a singles matchup against Kane, one half of the Brothers of Destruction. Kane comes into this matchup at 1 and 4, Triple H at 14 and 11. In the main event, we will have The Rock versus Chris Jericho. Triple H showing absolutely no mercy. Hits a pile driver, which once again is a barred move. Second rope elbow drop, follows up with an arm breaker, Jesus. Measuring up, hitting the spine buster on the big red machine. Kane with a bit of a comeback, tries to put Triple H down, tries to put him to sleep. Triple H breaks out, hits pedigree for three. Triple H made this match look easy. It was so one-sided. The Undertaker on the Tron. Next week, The Undertaker will give a personal tour to the WWE Universe of the Devil's Playground. The following matchup is a number one contenders matchup to the WWE Women's Championship. The winner will face the champion Carmella at Hell in a Cell. Layla comes into this matchup at 2 and 3. Asuka comes into this matchup at 5 and 2. Earlier tonight, Carmella being interviewed said she prefers Asuka. She wants Asuka to win this matchup. She respects Asuka after Asuka helped her defend against Naomi and Cameron last week. Layla wants a shot at the title as well, and with $11,000 in the bank, she definitely has a right to enter in for a shot at the championship. Asuka being thrown across the ring. Layla in complete control in this matchup. Asuka firing back, hitting the spinning leg kick. Asuka's losing her patience. She's about to put Layla through a table on the outside. Layla escapes the situation. Back into the ring, Asuka catches her with the Asuka lock. Layla holds on, does not tap out. Back to her feet, Layla hits neckbreaker for two. Asuka back to her feet. She's gonna go for the back fist combo. This is a devastating maneuver in this universe mode. It has finished so many people, and it looks like it's gonna get the job done again. Asuka wins this matchup. She will meet Carmella at Hell in the Cell for the WWE Women's Championship. The following matchup isn't even a matchup. Honky Tonk Man on his way out to the ring. He is going to address and call out the Viper Randy Orton. Honky Tonk wants the Viper, gets the Texas Rattlesnake instead. Stone Cold Steve Austin making his way down to the ring. He does not look happy. Honky Tonk Man and Stone Cold Steve Austin spend at least a minute battling for this bat back and forth. It was nerve-wracking. Honky Tonk Man catching Austin in the Rockabye Neckbreaker, which is what I call it, for two. Honky Tonk Man going for the Sledgehammer. Austin on the other side going for the ladder. The ladder wins out. Suspended Neckbreaker to the Honky Tonk Man. Austin measures him up. Stunner. Austin pissed that Orton isn't there. He challenges Orton to a Hell in a Cell match at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. The following matchup is Big Show versus Sheamus Rusev scheduled to be on commentary. Big Show coming into this matchup at three and four. Sheamus coming into this matchup at five and four. Sheamus tried everything in his power last week, but Rusev was still victorious against Kane last week. Rusev is meant to be on commentary. He has still not joined the commentator's table. He's just hanging out with the Big Show. You have to wonder, is revenge on the mind of Rusev? Sheamus double axe handle, knocking Big Show off of his feet. Sheamus ground and pound. Sheamus doing an excellent job at this in the beginning of the match, keeping Big Show off his feet and dealing out damage. Sheamus hits white noise. Rusev distracting Sheamus. Sheamus turns around from the distraction. Spear. Sheamus Celtic cross to the Big Show through the announce table. Tosses Big Show back into the ring. He survives the table. Irish curse, backbreaker, and again, Rusev entering himself into this matchup. Sheamus once again going for Celtic Cross, middle of the ring. One, two, no. Sheamus is at the end of his rope. He doesn't know what to do. Turn around, spear from the Big Show. Sheamus survives, gets the upper hand, Goes for the bro kick, but he's exhausted. He can't go for the cover. He finally gets there. One, two, no. They battle up the ramp. Sheamus is in trouble. He's got to get back into the ring before a nine count. He does. As soon as he gets in, 
Spear for a third time. One, two, three. With the help of Rusev, Big Show defeats Sheamus. And we are ready for the main event. Well, we join an already in progress main event matchup here. I'm not sure why, but the recording did not start. What you've missed here is a moonsault by Jericho, a flying rock bottom, Jericho getting caught off of a top rope maneuver into a rock bottom from The Rock. The Rock dropping a Samoan drop there. He's going to go for the pin. I don't think it'll be enough. I mean, we've missed a hell of a lot of action in this matchup, but not to be outdone by these earlier matches. Sheamus and Big Show just tore the roof off of the place with one of the best matches I've seen in universe mode played by two CPUs. Honky Tonk Man called out Stone Cold Steve Austin. Sorry, he called out Randy Orton. Got Stone Cold Steve Austin instead. Asuka became the number one contender to the WWE Women's Championship. And of course, at the top of the hour, the return of Triple H decimating Kane, the brother of The Undertaker. Undertaker vowing that next week we will see a grand tour of the Devil's Playground. Nia Jax getting involved here. She's up on the turnbuckle. She is giving advice to The Rock. Big elbow to Jericho. We have not seen Jericho in this universe mode. He is only an, an, at a 0 and 1 record. He's facing The Rock here tonight, who is coming into this matchup at 7 and 4. The Rock facing a hell of a challenger in Jericho last week. Cena facing a hell of a challenger in Roman Reigns. We were not sure if The Rock was with his Samoan family last week, and now we know. Code Breaker connecting. Going for the pin, but the referee's distracted by Nia Jax. Irish whip. Rocky thrown into the corner. Huge chop right in front of his Samoan family member, Nia Jax. Chris Jericho. Looked like he might have gone for a high-risk maneuver there. Thinks better of it. Heads back into the ring and just starts to plant the rock into the mat. Kick to the spine. Turns Rocky over. Big knee to the face. The Brahma Bull in a tight spot here. Losing this matchup would be a huge detriment to the number one contender to the WWE Championship as he hits a belly to belly to get back into this matchup. And now he's looking to hit rock bottom. Measuring Jericho up. He's got it. Connecting rock bottom to Jericho. Poor positioning. He's got to drag him into the middle of the ring. Going for the pin here. One, two, three. It's over. Rock bottom. Winning it for the rock. And sorry for the technical difficulties. The first half of this matchup. Not being recorded. Jericho, of course, caught in the sharpshooter early on. Injured that spine, that midsection area. The Rock continuing to work on that midsection. You can see it there with that smart kick. Irish whip, here we go. Here's the flying Rock bottom. Catches him up and down. Beautiful move there. And look at this. Nia Jax, of course, getting involved in this matchup. Jericho was looking to get his first win in universe mode here tonight. Can't quite seem to get it. As he suffers the Samoan drop and then watch this rock bottom right in the corner of the ring. 
Oof. Heavy impact. The Rock is victorious. Last week, Cena was victorious. Both had challenging competitors. I, had, I would say that they appear to be on even playing fields here. The Rock will face John Cena for the WWE Championship at Hell in a Cell. We have a challenge laid down to the Viper. Stone Cold wants Randy Orton in Hell in a Cell. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line when Asuka tries to retake her title away from Carmella. And of course, Triple H and The Undertaker have yet to decide upon what their match is going to be. Undertaker is going to give someone a tour of the Devil's Playground inside Hell in a Cell next week. Triple H, better watch your back. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching this episode. I want to thank you for your support. I know this episode was short. I know last week's uh, SmackDown was super short as well. But hey, sometimes they're short, sometimes they're long. It'll help you get to Monday Night Raw and SmackDown quicker. We'll be heading to SmackDown coming up next. Thank you for watching. Prophet God. GG.